Howard Hendricks, the man, the legend. Most people know Mr. Hendricks as a great seminary professor and theologian, and indeed, he has certainly made his mark in those arenas. Most people do not realize, though, the impact that Hendricks has made in another part of our culture. That's right, Howard Hendricks was a major player in the development of contemporary music. He started his career as one of the original platters, touring the country tantalizing crowds with his silky smooth voice on hits like The Great Pretender and Only You. But soon, amidst all the fame and excitement, Hendricks felt like he did not quite fit in with this group and decided to help his young son, James, get a start in the music business. Once he felt like little Jimmy could eke out a living strumming the guitar, Hendrix decided to reach out further artistically, and immediately with his new partner, he became a smash hit in country music. Once again, however, Hendrix found his interest waning and his fame slipping. He spent a few months with another up-and-coming rock and roll band, only to be sucked into the world of drugs, women, and wild living. And it was here, at the end of his rope, that Howie found God. He had ridded himself of the world, but found himself still drawn to music. You may recall seeing Howie and the band Jeff Moore in the distance. And today, after doing so much for the music industry and fulfilling other people's needs, Howie has found his niche in his own kind of music. And that's a wrap for Howie.